Hello, everyone. This is Benita Walker coming to you from BenitaWalker.com. And today I'm going to share with you how to create a chat box for your webinar. Now, I've already opened up a new screen and I'm going to type in the address bar www.chatwing. That's the company I'm using to create my chat box. That's chatwing, C H A T W I N G. G. Now, when you come to the Chat Wings first um, page or their website, you're going to see a try now button and a login button. If you do not have an account with Chat Wing, it is free to sign up. Click on the try now. You're going to simply enter your email address, enter a password for them, and then click create account. Now, since I already have an account with them, I'm going to click in, click the login button and give them my email and password. When you first log in, you're going to be on what's called the dashboard. This is the page that allows you to create a new chat box. And if you'll notice, there's a list of all the chat boxes I've created in the past. So what I'm going to do in the center here, I'm gonna click on add new, because I'm creating a new chat box. Notice there is a URL up here. This is something that Chatwings populates for you. And that's the URL that you will use when you open up your chat box on a separate device. Now, you're going to be using the webinar full screen for the most part. So you're going to need your chat box somewhere where you can see it. So this is the URL you use. And I suggest that you open it up on your phone or a tablet or something separate from the device you're using to do your webinar. Okay. Now, if you will notice, this is my chat box. It's a nice, pretty blue teal color. But the color of my website is purple. That's one of my branding colors. So I'm going to change the color of this. It's not necessary, but this is just so that you can make it personalized. You can play with these different um, options, but the only thing that I use on the left-hand side underneath the word chat box is color. And this is the main color that I'm changing, this teal blue. So I don't remember the purple code that I use. So I'm just going to click on the box and open something up. And that looks pretty enough. I'm going to use it. So all I'm going to do is click Save. Now, the next step is I need to use the chat box. So again, over here on the left, you've got your Create Chat Box, Use Chat Box. So I'm clicking use chat box because I'm about to use it. Now, when the use chat box screen comes up, you don't have to concern yourself with the URLs they're putting here. What you want to do is go to your left and click on embedded options because what we're doing now is going to embed the chat box onto our website. Now, there's a couple of things I would change here, perhaps. First is the width. It's showing 240 pixels. It's a nice size chat box. I could probably read the chat easily, but because I want it to kind of match my website and the size of the window that I'm using for the actual webinar, I usually increase this. 340 works for me and makes it a little wider. And if you want it longer, the second thing you can change, of course, is the height. I like mine this size. I'm going to keep it 370. Now, what you're going to look at on the bottom half of this screen, first, I'm going to save my dimensions. And then on the bottom half of the screen, you're going to see where it says JavaScript. 
If you scroll down a little more, you're going to see iframe. Now, these are three different codes that you could use to embed this on your website. You can play around with each one to decide which one works best for you on your computer. I always use iframe. Make sure you copy the entire code. Don't leave anything out. And then I go to copy. And where I'm going to paste it is on my web page that I've already created. So I'm going to come off of here. I just opened up a new tab and I'm going to type in my website address, anitawalker.com. But of course, I want the WordPress portion of it, which allows me to make changes to the website. So this puts me into the dashboard. And I'm going to go to pages, find all of my pages, and then scroll down to the page I just created, the webinar practice page. And this is it. Click edit. Now, remember when I created the webinar practice page, I had two sections set up. The left side was to house the webinar screen itself, and the right side was to house the chat box. So I'm going to simply click Edit on the right-hand side, and I'm going to make sure I'm not on the visual, which is the what you see is what you get. Because if I were to paste my code there, then visitors would just simply see code. I'm going to the side that allows for HTML code, which in WordPress case, it says text. Your website platform might say something else. It may just simply say HTML code. So I'm going to paste the iframe here. And this is the code that is needed to create the chat box. I'm done, so I'm going to click done. And I'm going to click update. And now I can preview my changes. And here's the page with the screen for the webinar. And there it is. And my chat box just popped up. OK. I'm ready to go. All I need to do is publish this page and make sure that I have the URL for the general public to get to. So I'm going to come out of here. Now, I've already clicked publish. So my page is available for the attendees. And all I'm going to do is come up here and copy the link for that page. And in my case, it simply says BenitaWalker.com forward slash webinar hyphen practice. So I'm going to copy that link. And this is the link that I'm going to give to the attendees when it is time for them to attend the webinar itself. So I'm going to take and paste it somewhere where I can find it. So I've copied the link. And now I'm going to paste it on a Word document where I can find it later when I need it. OK? So that's all there is to putting the chat box on your website. So I'm ready to go and show you how to actually host the webinar next. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you on the next video.